Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Barry Tone and today guys I'm about to show you a tutorial how to play Fable 2 on the PC. Now, this is another game you're gonna need the special Xenia hack build to even play the game. So I'll leave this in the description down below to the special Xenia hack build I can play um the most recent games like Gears of War, um Fable, Lost Odyssey, like a lot of games that provide an Unreal Engine that couldn't be played before on the Xenia emulator. But you guys can test out the current build on the Xenia emulator website. They could update it to make Unreal Engine games playable, but I don't know how long the process is going usually going to take. Probably, I would say, I'm, I'm just making a rough estimate guess, probably a couple months. You guys can try it out. Um, after that, you're gonna basically make a new folder. Probably call it Xenia Hack Build, like I did. And then you're basically gonna drag your files from the WAR file to the left side. And then you're basically gonna drag all three files to the left side. And then after that, you're gonna plug in your controller, which I'm about to do right now. And the exe and go to the location file open and wherever you usually set um store your download games fable should be there like right now open it up and it should be booting up now you basically need to play this game to get um shaders because at first it won't look so good, but the more as as more you play this game, it's gonna make shaders. So at first it may not look the greatest. It may look kind of buggy and glitchy, but the game is pretty playable. Basically, you just gotta wait for your shaders. I don't know how long it takes for Xenia shaders to completely look perfect but I know this emulator does have shaders so I technically don't know how it works but it should work as like all other emulators like Yuzu and RPC S3 and stuff like that that's basically it yep that's Fable for you um if you guys follow all the steps I showed you, you should be getting it. The game booting up is very easy. This emulator is not too complex, like I said, like I always say before. So it should be easy. Even a little five-year-old can do this easy tutorial. So without being, with, with that being said, um, this is about to be the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, share, and subscribe. If you guys are new, because I'll be doing more videos like this in the future. So yeah, this is your boy Burton, and I'm out. Peace.